Hey everybody, it's Ann popping back on live with a quick supper idea. I just have to show you guys a couple things tonight. So I've, I've mentioned to you before that Pampered Chef has started a subscription service for all of you that struggle with what's for dinner. And so tonight I'm gonna share one of the secret recipes because if you subscribe to Taste Buds through our company, you get three pantry products and you get three main um, dish recipes plus nine more recipes to use these pantry products with. And I'm loving this service because it's adding some new things to our routine. And so tonight I'm going to share with you the wonderful new French dip recipe. And it features the Dijon mustard um, seasoning from the pantry. So come along really quick. So I have um, one of my cast iron skillets here right on the stove already. It's getting pretty hot, so I'm going to turn that down. I have some flat iron steak that I have seasoned. So the recipe says to season the flat iron or flank steak with the Dijon rub, uh, about a tablespoon of it. Sear it in a hot oiled skillet for just about a minute per side. So that's what I'm doing right now while I'm talking to you. And then once I've seared it, I'm going to move it over to this pan, which is the nonstick stainless steel skillet that I like. I'm actually going to just let it rest there while I do the onions and mushrooms. The recipe doesn't call for mushrooms, but we love mushrooms in our house, and I figured it's a French dip, so we're going to do mushrooms here. So I think that's done about a minute, so a really hot, quick sear. I'm going to turn over the steak pieces. So then coming up, as you can see over here, I've already sliced up an entire um, onion and I've sliced up an entire package of fresh mushrooms. So after that second minute of the sear, I'm going to put those in here. And what's really delicious and different about this French dip recipe is once you have this going and it's going to go in the oven here in a couple minutes, I'll tell you about that. But when you go to assemble the sandwich, I thought this was just an ingenious part of this recipe, you actually make a spread. So I've used a prep bowl, and sorry, because I already did this and then I decided to go live. You make a spread that is plain Greek yogurt and the Dijon rub, and seems like one other thing. Let me look real quick. Gotta get my cheat sheet out here because I don't want to tell you. Oh yeah, horseradish, which is so important, obviously. So it's Greek yogurt, Dijon rub, and the prepared horseradish. You make this spread, and this is the spread that's going to go on. And I bought a piece of French loaf that I'm just going to um, split open. I've buttered it because then I'm going to use this stainless steel skillet to toast this before I assemble the sandwich. So I think that's been seared for about a minute on both sides. I'm going to take it out of the pan. I am now going to add the mushrooms and onions. So you have a big pan full. And we're just gonna let those cook for a couple minutes as they soften. And then what you do, I have preheated my oven already, so my oven's at 425 degrees. So once I have the vegetables have so that they've gotten to the soften stage, I'm gonna put these two big pieces of flat iron steak back on top of the vegetables, and I'm going to put it in the oven. And it's going to cook in the oven just as long as it takes to get the, um, beef done to medium rare or about 140 degrees and then we will remove it from the oven i will remove it all from the pan okay because i'm going to take it out of that pan because then what i'm going to do in that pan is i'm going to put the last part of the dijon mustard rub and some beef broth and i'm going to scrape up any of the little fond which is the brown sticky pieces on the bottom of the skillet from cooking these things and that's how i'm making the au jus for the french dip all right so I can see some of you have popped on and are watching with me. So if you have a favorite French dip recipe, I would love you to put it in the comments too. But this is one, instead of using a roast or instead of using leftover prime rib or maybe somebody cooked prime rib for the holidays and you had some left and you froze it, 
that's great too. But this just gives it a wonderful little kick with the Dijon mustard rub and horseradish in the yogurt spread as you put it. So assembly again, I'm gonna toast the buns. Then I'm going to spread the yogurt mixture on the buns. Then I'm gonna heat them full of the steak that I will have thinly sliced and the onion mushroom mixture. And remember, the regular recipe doesn't have mushrooms in it, but we love them, so I'm added that. Um, so, and then it will be just a delicious, fast French dip supper. And you guys, taste buds, it started in September. So back to what this is, if you need a fun gift for somebody, this is so cool. And you can even try it out for just a month if you want. Um, but you can subscribe for one month, or you can subscribe for three months, or you can subscribe for six months. And it just mixes up what you're cooking. But what I absolutely love about it is, I'm gonna have about a, a couple teaspoons of the Dijon mustard rub left from my package. And so it gives you all these other recipe uses for that um, particular pantry product too. And you get three different ones in each subscription. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, oh, Sherry, she's saying I'm making her hungry. Well, I'm glad I'm making you hungry. Um, we actually have fun cooking for some friends of ours here in town too. So I'm actually delivering, or actually Jim is delivering these French dip sandwiches in just a little bit, which that'll be really good too. And then I have cheesy au gratin potatoes in the oven to go with them. So I just felt like today we got a little bit of sunshine, so it was a day for some comfort food. And I'm gonna just move my vegetables around a couple more minutes here. The vegetables will also um, finish cooking while it's in the oven with the steak. So that's why you only need to cook them for a couple minutes on top of the stove till they start to soften and caramelize a little bit. So keep your temperature in the cast iron skillet up, you know, pretty high. You don't want it smoking temperature, but you want it pretty high um, above that. And then this cast iron's the 10 inch. There is a 12 inch, so you could be doing a bigger batch if you wanted. And a lot of people are loving kind of going back to the old style of cast iron cooking. But I love this because they come pre-seasoned from our line. So literally, I will just wash it out and make sure I dry it and it'll be ready to go the next time. So you don't have a lot of maintenance if you don't want it to be. But I also am gonna put it in the oven, as I mentioned to you, so I like that flexibility. And it's Monday, so I guess this was my meal kickoff for the week, um, just so I had an idea of things that I was gonna do. I also have a shrimp recipe that I'm gonna make um, for one of, our, one of our meals this week. And then um, my husband bought some beef short ribs. I'm not sure what he's gonna try to make with that, but we'll maybe pop on and tell you about that as well. So if you have a great menu plan or you already know what you're doing every day of this week, it would be fun if you'd share that because you guys seem to like when I pop on and do some cooking. Um, but I love hearing from you guys too with what you are liking to make. So let me know. And I'm gonna give this one more quick stir. Looks like the softening has just started. So what I'm gonna do is take these big pieces of steak again and put it back on the vegetables. And I'm just gonna let them stay here for another minute or two before I move it to the oven. And that will kind of jumpstart at that cooking. So any questions or anything anybody else wants to know, put it in the comments. Otherwise, you've seen me. Um, let's see what I do with the card. What we did was the Taste Buds French Dip Sandwiches tonight. And the feature from the pantry was Dijon Mustard. And I think I told you, but I use a little beef broth and more Dijon Mustard to make the odd juice in the skillet once the fillings comes out of the oven. So have a great Monday, everybody. See you soon.